Okay, uh, hello again, everyone. Um, so, this is not Resident Evil 4, because the sound levels and everything didn't really work out. Uh, I am going to upload uh, the Super House of Dead Ninjas uh, video anyway, uh, even though it's got some quirks, because I think it, it's still okay. Uh, but it's noticeable that the game audio is really low, and also the microphone keeps cutting out a little bit. That might be my fault, though. Uh, I think part of the way I talk is kind of the issue, uh, because if I lose my train of thought in a sentence, I just kind of trail out and get really quiet. And when that happens, the microphone kind of struggles to pick up my voice. Uh, so I've moved some things around, I've changed some levels, uh, and since I mentioned Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe and horribly botched the title several times, I figured it was only fair uh, that I show off a little bit of Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Do do. All right. Um, check my options real quick. Everything looks good. Blast processing. Yes. Always have blast processing. That's what Sega taught me. Uh, set controls. They're probably fine. No, I shouldn't trust. Them. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, single player gamepad. Button for left. Yep. 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 Jump. Great. Uh, fire. Yeah. Alternate fire. Sure. Select. Yeah, oh, oh god, I've horribly butchered this. Oh my god, we got we gotta do that again. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, if you look in the top there, you can see I, I set my back to start and my select to, uh, uh, to, to the start button. I've, this is, this is all, all backwards. What have I done? Okay. Game, game pad. Okay, here we go again. Left, right, up, down. Jump, fire, alternate fire, select, wait, this video is off to a great start. Oh, oh no, oh my god, ah, oh, oh god, <laughs> it's terrible, ah! Okay, okay. We're gonna take it slow, left, right, up, down, great, jump, fire, alternate fire, select, back, pause, special, we're good, we're good. We can play this game now. Okay, uh, so first thing you do in Sip Puzzle Platformer is pick a character. Uh, I've unlocked all but two so far. I do not really know how to unlock this one. Uh, the one on the left, however, I do know I need to collect 10 or more stars in a single play, which as you're about to see is not very easy to do. Um, my favorite characters so far are the, uh, the fighter here and then also the ninja. Uh, standard guy's okay because you can kind of glide around a little bit and there's also a dude that allows you to shoot both directions. Guy with a jetpack and a cyborg. Uh, you will see very quickly why it might be helpful to have a dual wielder. I'm going to pick the ninja for now, and we're going to pick... Uh, let's go to... We'll just do Troublesome Tech for now. This is the first level. Ba, ba, ba. There I am. I'm on this platform. All right. So, uh, a lot of similarities here to... Like, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Uh, Super P Puzzle Fighter, as the name implies. Uh, except that instead of just trying to build colors uh, or combine, you know, different colors, you're actually on the field. So getting a high score also means eliminating your areas for movement, which I think is just genius. Uh, the versus mode in here is really awesome, too. There's a mode where, just like those games, you're, you know, trying to create combinations and then send stuff flying back to one another. Uh, except that you also have to put yourself at risk in order to do it, which I think is really, really cool. There we go. Uh, but for now, we're just going to take a look at the single player stuff. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, so you see that I leveled up up there. Uh, whenever you hit a huge combo, uh, it'll drop these little shards. When you pick them up, you get, you know, the equivalent of experience. And once you get enough... Uh, you actually will uh, get a stronger weapon, which allows you to break things faster. 
Uh, and so there's a trap up there. I, I cannot jump up there. Uh, or that thing will blow up and kill me. And you only get one shot. Uh, if a block lands on you, you just lose uh, whatever experience you've accrued so far, I think down to one level. Oh, God. Um, woo. But if a trap gets you, it's, it's game over. You're dead. Okay, I need to break. Uh, so the way that you eliminate traps is by... Uh, they essentially fulfill every color in terms of like a combo. So they just need to be touching another block. And then you destroy it and you can eliminate the trap. So it's not very hard to get rid of... Oh! Okay, so that spike block landed on me and I died. Uh, they're not very hard to get rid of, but the amount of time that they are on the screen becomes a huge problem. Uh, it's, and the traps change based on the level you're at as well. So these traps that I'm dealing with right now are like the easiest ones to avoid. Some of the ones in, in the later stages become like giant, you know, lava spinners uh, and like, you know, ball on chains and lasers and icicles that drop from the sky. It gets real nasty. Uh, and I hope unlike uh, House of Dead Ninjas, you can actually hear the music in this one because the music's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I had the sound level set a little low for that video. Uh, which means you couldn't hear the rad music, uh, or the way that the announcer taunted you whenever you died in House of Dead. Uh, and it's not too big of a problem in games like this, because you can tell, you know, pretty easily, uh, looking at the screen, what's going on. But a game like Resident Evil 4, where uh, ambient noise is pretty important, uh, pretty important, and there's uh, dialogue, I'd rather, you know, everyone be able to hear that. Which is why we're doing these little test videos. Oh. Oh yeah, got a chest. Get all them shards. Oh, star. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you do really well and you're picking up a ton of those shards, you will eventually get a star like this one. And now I'm invincible to everything. I can walk on traps. I can walk on spikes. Uh, woo. So if you have a whole bunch of stuff on the screen. Uh, it actually becomes really, really useful to just kind of let everything pile up and then try to collect everything that's out uh, because the star's appearance seems to be based on uh, how many of those shards you collect in a short period of time. Which is why those chests are super important. Uh, woo, or getting, you know, large combos. Uh, because much like Super House of Dead Ninjas, if you're doing really, really well, you can actually successfully chain a ton of stars together uh, by getting, you know, a huge combo, collect a star. Oh, ow. You get a huge combo, you collect a star, uh, and then you use your invincibility to break another huge combo, get another star, and you can keep that going for a long time. So this should be pretty, should be a doozy right here. Come on, star, star, that's star worthy. Yeah, star! Woo! Break it all, I don't care! I don't need you! Okay, that was... I did not successfully get another star. Now nah, we're good. We're fine. Look at this. I'm good. Get that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. See, so yeah, getting squished by blocks really isn't that bad. Uh, you know, you lose a little bit of power in your weapon, but whatever. It's, you still get to keep going. That's better than most of the other traps. Uh, I am in need of ground. I should stop breaking. Uh, so one of the reasons I really like the ninja is he still has some pretty good range. He's got this cool little double jump that I find really useful. Okay, what happened there? I must have jumped up into a trap somehow. Well, too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and pick a different stage, maybe a different character. Uh, and then after that we'll call it. And you can pick a random character too, of course. Uh, I will go with the melee attacker. Uh, he's a little harder to use uh, than the other guy. Oh! There is a new stage here since I last played. Let's check it out. Uh, he's a little harder to use than um, the ninja. Because uh, as... As he implies, you have to be kind of right up against stuff in order to hit it. You can see the way I'm... Like, his attack does not go very far. Uh, the advantage, though, is that he can break things really, really quickly. 
Even at level 1, he's pretty capable of destroying things. Pretty fast. Oh man, I really hope that I got the game audio to capture right, because this is... This is rad. I know you know I'm a 90s kid. Oh, man. <laughs> Put a block there. Right there. Right fucking there. Put it there. No, not there. There. Oh, this is awful. Like, would like to... Let's just... We gotta take this down. Take it down. Punch it! Punch it, punch it, punch it! Yeah! Uh, you may have noticed that the larger a, uh, the larger a combo is, the more hits it takes to smash it. Oh. That becomes uh, a pretty big problem when you're doing the... What?! It becomes a pretty big problem during the versus mode. Oh my god. Uh, these are new traps I've not experienced before, so... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Um, like I was saying, it becomes a very big problem during the versus mode, uh, because while you're taking time to try and get your huge combo, uh, the person you're playing against is setting off his own combos, which in the versus mode sends traps to your side. So the longer you're in one spot, the more likely you're going to get killed, uh, by something getting sent over. Um, is there anything else I... Oh, challenges! I guess I can show up some of the challenges. So I've completed most of the challenges. Uh, the ones in yellow are ones that I've I've completed, I believe? Either that or it's the other way around and I've completed like no challenges. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, these are little uh, difficult... Um, trying to think of a word other than challenges to not just say the exact thing that's sitting up there in big blocky letters. But let's go ahead and say challenges. Uh, so I'm gonna pick one. Uh, and these, this is a very helpful tool, actually, to learning about the different traps you're going to see uh, and how to avoid them. So, right, the objective here is I just need to survive for for 40 seconds. I need to survive for 40 seconds and not get killed. Um, we'll try a different one. Uh, but basically, it's a way for you to learn how the different traps operate, how to safely avoid them. Uh, let's try Fireball 2. Ah, gotcha. Okay, great. Oh, dude, just a great start. <laughs> doing such a good job showing how great I am at this game. Uh, let's let's try one of the easier ones. I'll do uh, I'll do I'll do spikes. It's probably not too hard. Uh, so something you'll learn from uh, this particular awesome uh, this particular challenge uh, that is extremely helpful to know is that you can actually jump onto the spikes uh, and they will not kill you so long as you have a way to walk on them. So like right now I can walk on those oh, uh, and do it safely. Uh, anyway, I, I think that's going to do it for Super Puzzle Platformer. I'll do, I'll do one more. One more stage and then we'll call it. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not try sadistic satellite again, though. I think it's really cool. There's suddenly a new stage in here. Um, I did not mean to choose this one specifically to show off any new stuff, but it's really cool that it's there. Let's go to Mansion Mania, uh, which apparently I was very good at. I collected 30 of those little gems there, which in single player is your goal: is to collect as many of those as possible in order to unlock the next stage. Uh, but I've already unlocked all the stages, so there's not much reason for me to be focusing on that. Except for if I want to end up on the leaderboards, I guess, but I, I kind of don't. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that there's no uh, online multiplayer with this game. It's all local, but I think that might be the best way to experience it anyway. Take that, blue blocks. Dude, 
Could you make a too many cooks game? I don't know if it's possible. Not without damaging what was so great about too many cooks. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Let's take this one out. Boom! Oh, ghost! Oh, ghost. Little bastard. All right. All right, that's going to do it for Super Puzzle Platformer. Uh, I think it's a great game, obviously, or I wouldn't be recording this. Uh, I think the music's great. Just the whole package is, is really solid. Uh, album? Oh, okay. This is just kind of... Uh, but that's going to do it. Uh, hopefully the sound levels uh, and my microphone sound a little bit better this time around. If that is the case, then we will actually get around to recording Resident Evil 4. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I'd like to get Resident Evil 4 done before the uh, the year is out been on hiatus way too long. Anyway, that's going to do it for Trevor at Tilting at Pixels. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.